tuning in our podcast. We are coming from uh, Melbourne for the game against Spurs at the MCG. I've got Mike with me. Mike, how are you doing today, mate? Oh, absolutely buzzing, man. Absolutely buzz. It's, uh, yeah. Can't wait to see the boys out on the pitch. Can't wait to get a few more beers in me. And it's, yeah, oh, it's been a great day so far. Looking forward to the rest. Well, this place is starting to fill up nicely. There's loads of fans packing in. Uh, should be a candy few more coming in. There's a few more pubs in the round. Uh, but for the game today, who, which player are you looking forward to seeing most? Uh, to be honest, I don't really care. I've, obviously, the big names, Bruno, Joe Linton, Isaac. Uh, like I've been saying all week, I just want to see Matt, uh, Matt Ritchie go raggy on a corner flag. And, uh, all the, all, even the young lads just seeing the, um, the young Australian, uh, what's his name? Uh, Karangaru, I can never pronounce his name. But, you know, just, but just having the club over, just, just being able to see him live is... You know, I say, really don't care who's playing. Just no, I completely agree with that one, mate. And you were in there, the MCG, helping out with uh, the war flags this the day. So you got two signatures on your shirt right there? Yeah, we were very lucky. I went out, put some flags out, and then uh, unbeknownst to us, Matt Ritchie and Paul Dummett turned up. And uh, felt like a proper fanboy. Got me got me selfie taken, and then uh, asked him if he could sign his shirt, like a 12-year-old. But... Uh, you know, couldn't miss the opportunity. First thing my wife said when she saw it was, how the hell am I meant to wash that shirt now? I said, you're not. No, that's it. Isn't it? Here we are. We're live at the precinct again with here with Lee from Newcastle Fans TV. Lee, first time in Australia, first impressions? Well, the weather's very much like England, so that yeah, here we go. Melbourne was definitely was very like, what am I doing? And he's all driving on the left-hand side of the road. I'm like, wait a minute, I've just time-travelled back to England or something. But yeah, so far, it's been good. Two, uh, two days in, thoroughly enjoyed it, met lots of Aussies, and um, it's been good, really good. Awesome. So we're in, we're still in the precinct hotel here. How does this compare to what you experience every second week back on? I did not expect this turnout. I really didn't. I thought maybe 100 to 200 maximum. But this this room and we're in the precinct. I don't know what the other two venues are like, but this is like this is like being back in Shiraz Bar. Yeah. It is rams full of expats, Aussies, Geordies have come over. It is absolutely incredible. And and I think I think also as well that the trip has been criticised, probably rightly so, for the two games, for the timing of it. But it's a chance for a lot of Aussies that have never seen Newcastle play live. What an opportunity for fans, and, and that includes even, even Japan in a couple of months. Yeah. The opportunity to see them in the flesh, the likes of Bruno and Isaac and stuff. It's You only ever see them on the TV, so to see all of them out here, and I see a lot of them with the kids as well, it's their first time. It's a hell of an experience for everybody who hasn't seen them. It does mean a lot for us because, well, this has never happened, obviously, in my lifetime, and... Who knows if it'll ever happen again. So it's great to see so many people come here and make the most of it, things like that. What are you expecting when you walk over to the short walk to the MCG later on? Well, 60,000 will be pretty impressive for a friend, let's be honest. And hopefully we out-dominate the Spurs contingent, which I'm sure we will do. I'm sure there'll be more, I'm sure there'll be more black and white. Um, look, it's all about, for the club, it's about making money and growing the fan base. That's, that's what they're over here for. For the fans themselves, it's experiencing. You never know. Obviously, we've got people who support Newcastle, but there might be one or two that think, they're all right there. Who are they? And get intrigued by it and learn about Newcastle and become effectively a fan. And that obviously helps the club because it grows the commercial revenue by buying replica shirts and, you know, um, attending matches if they come over to the UK. So, all rounds, it has been criticised. But if Newcastle did have the opportunity of allowing to spend whatever they could, in all honesty, I don't think Newcastle will come here because the financial fair play is restricting Newcastle and to make money. And this is one way that they can do it. Yeah. All right. We'll wrap that up. Lee, thanks very much for jumping on, mate. Appreciate your time. Enjoy our great city. Enjoy the game tonight. And hopefully we'll catch up with you soon, mate. Thank you very much for having us. No worries. Thank you very much. Six Since my nappies were black and white. I had black and white nappies, I reckon. <laughs> That's how long we've been with them for. That long.
Yeah, I came into the team after six months. I'm telling you, no, this is no one alive. He called me Carl. <laughs>